how to meet investors. As we're looking at how to meet investors, take notes, okay? The challenge that investors face is that they have no time. As you can see on this, uh, during this summit, we've had over 2,000 people, 2,000 people. And imagine how many pitches then, it's like 2,000 pitches, okay? So there is no time to look at every pitch and to listen to everybody as much as we would love to do that. So investors re receive 30 plus pitches per day. They have funds to invest, but not enough appropriate companies. Then the common mistake that beginners make is that usually they talk to the wrong investors. So you don't do any homework. There is a wonderful thing called Google, okay? Please use it. Don't ask investors say, what do you invest in? Every investor's website says what they invest in. And it's very, very, I'll say it again, very, very disappointing when you go to somebody like, what do you invest in? You'll be like, really? So it's like you're coming to a meeting with me like, uh, what's your name again? I'm like, really? What do you do again? Like, really? You didn't prepare. You don't know what this is about. You don't know me. So if you want to impress investors, just go to their website. All of them have got, invest have got websites and they say what they invest in and the regions. And then so that when you're talking to them, you can say, hey, I am in this region or I'm in this industry or I'm doing it. Then they go, oh, okay, there's some homework, Google it. Then another mistake is having long and clear emails or messages. If I can show you the messages that I receive, they are long and they are unclear. They're saying, I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. What are you asking? And then even when they're asking again, it's like too long. So you see even some of the questions, and some of the questions um, in, 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 in the chat, you see those are examples of like, where's the question here, you know? And it's difficult for people to attend to that if you are just going on long and not saying what you, what you want or what you're looking for. Then long business plans at this stage, don't do business plan. Uh, somebody was asking, what's the difference between a business plan and a pitch deck? A business plan is a document that you've done lots of research on, and it talks about the different aspects of what your business could be, and it's based on research theory, and everybody in the business plan makes money. And you show all of that saying, in so many years, this is what we're going to do and achieve. But a pitch deck is shorter. And it just shows, and we showed you yesterday what a pitch deck is and what goes into a pitch deck. And you all can build your pitch deck very, very quickly. Whereas for a business plan, you would hire somebody else and because like, I don't know where to start. And so don't do business plans, have a pitch deck. And they only send a pitch deck when they ask for it. When they don't ask for it, if you're just reaching out code, just your one line sentence. Hi, my name is Sandras. I hope all of you have worked on your one line pitch. My company is called Startup Circles. It is a practical business school for entrepreneurs. We help early stage entrepreneurs grow their businesses by giving them access to capital and guidance. Okay, so that's what we do. Like you just write that and it's quick and straight to the point. And then someone say, oh, that's interesting. Or, oh, I don't do education. I can introduce you to a friend of mine who invests in education or I don't do education, that's fine. So don't ask people for, if people that you don't know and say, can I have half an hour of your time? They won't give you that, okay? Then no online presence. Yesterday, somebody asked is saying, the applications that you have, like there's a requirement that you need to put in your LinkedIn or website. It's a requirement because if you don't have any web presence, Investors won't invest in you. They can't find you. They can't look you up. Okay. So um, somebody asked, is it, you need to be online. Your, your company either needs to have a, web, have a website or just have a social media uh, platform or, or profile or just on LinkedIn. So all of you who don't have anything, just go onto LinkedIn, put your profile up on LinkedIn so that people can look you up. When you say, hi, my name is, we look you up, we Google you and find like nothing of you, like zero, like, hmm, I'm going to lose money here. Okay. 
Then how to find investors, angel investor networks and lists. That's where you can go. You can also go to angel venture, cap venture capitalists. You can search for them on LinkedIn. And then you could do a little bit of research on the internet, on Google, just looking at that. And then you could also do it via introductions. Ask somebody to introduce you. It works very, very well compared to just you going cold. So if you go on LinkedIn, for instance, you see so you've got somebody, a friend in common, you ask them like, hey, do you know this person? Do you mind doing an introduction for me? And then you can also do it via startup circles. So startup circles, what we've done is we have put together a lot. We've brought a lot of investors from around the world. And also we're making it super easy for a lot of entrepreneurs to get investable. So how to introduce yourself, creatively engage with them. You can connect with, on, on, with uh, investors on Twitter. A lot of people have got deals from Twitter. So you can connect with them on uh, via events and you can do a brief, you can, and when you do that, introduce yourself, brief intro. Hi, my name is Sandra Spiri, founder of Startup Circles. Brief. Not high, I was born in Kitwe and then as a child, I've always been passionate about education. You see, I believe that because my parents died, I was very passionate about this. And then what I want to do is I want to also build a, this and I want to help the community, I want to create jobs. Like, no, just my name is, this is what I do. And then you put in your online pitch. My company does this for this and we make money using this and we make money this way then say something that make you stand out you can say oh by the way i met you at this conference or i read your article on this or i am doing this for this area that you're interested in like the chief was talking about like hey by the way uh come from the same village as nelson mandela or whatever that the person likes or if you've read their book for instance that also helps then you ask for one thing. A mistake that people make is to ask for three things. Hi, uh, my name is Andres uh, from Startup Circles. And so I'd like you to have a look at my website. Please don't send people to your website. So they look at your website, so that what? Okay. Have a look at my website and take a look at the attached pitch deck. And then can I have a meeting with you for 30 minutes? And then also check out this other project and this other project and this other project. Like, oh, those type of emails are just never read and you never get a reply. Maybe some of you are realizing now, like, ah, maybe that's why nobody answers me because you make them work hard. They don't know you. So make it easy for them. Okay. That's what you do when you are trying to get an introduction. Ask for one thing.